Pride Week in the Twin Cities is well underway with events happening throughout the course of the weekend. And one of the bars featured in Sunday's Pride Crawl has also been voted by our viewers as the best LGBTQ bar in Minnesota. Not only does the gay 90s have six clubs in one, it also has a lot of important history. This is the original stage uh, that the, all the performers performed on back then. There are probably few bars in the state of Minnesota that have a history that is as rich or as clandestine as the one located at 408 Hennepin Avenue in Minneapolis. If I could ever hear all the stories that occurred in here. As general manager, Robert Parker guides us on a tour through the labyrinths that connect the six different themed bars. One is quick to realize that this is much more than a club. It's a time capsule that over the years bore witness to the struggles of the gay community, as well as holding many secrets to Minneapolis's past. Uh, it didn't originally start out with the name the gay 90s, it was uh, Casablanca. But Casablanca opened its doors in 1943 as a dinner and burlesque club, and in 1948 changed hands and became the gay 90s, almost 20 years before the word gay had been used in its current context. Because it was actually a term like the fabulous 40s, the roaring 20s, and so the word gay went to be happy. Its proximity in what was otherwise known as the gateway area of downtown was known to be a place of permissiveness where respectable people didn't go. And it was really a uh, strip joint down, um, we were so close to Skid Row. Which made it a good place to not be seen. It was a favorite bar of a lot of the mayor, council people, police chief, all the uh, upper echelons of Minneapolis. Whether it be on Skid Row, doomed to oblivion by city planners. But in the late 60s and early 70s, the city set their sights on cleaning up the Gateway District, and so went the striptease and burlesque shows at the gay 90s. And in 1975, the bar reopened as a discotheque. It evolved slowly over time into a uh, gay bar. In this case, timing was everything, as gay people all over the country, tired of living in the shadows, began demonstrating for equal rights, and in Minneapolis, the gay 90s became their home. It's a, a, a place that people can actually go to and just be themselves without worrying about anybody else watching, seeing, or knowing. You could, your whole life could be destroyed just by the fact that you're coming out as who you are. Robert speaks from 30 years experience working at this club. This next generation, they see it as a uh, a bastion of acceptance and before it was a, a place to hide it. And there's no hiding the fact that the gay 90s has served an important role for the LGBT community. Not only there are just gay people, but there's every type of person that might live in this city, there's a representative inside of this bar. So Pride Week holds a special meaning for the people at this iconic place. And they would like you to know that whoever or whatever you are, you will be welcomed with open arms. I think that uh, everybody should celebrate gay pride. I'd like to see one day when we just call it pride. Uh, you know, it's an iconic bar. I didn't realize how much history Neither did I. Was there. It goes way back. Yeah, it really yeah. does. And Robert says, of course, this weekend is the busiest of the year, so if you want to participate in any of the events there, you should show up early. Yeah, that makes That's sense. pretty good advice, right? Yeah.